Perseus and the Monstrous Medusa by Xavier Parada Illustrated by Jan Lewis Cast list Perseus Medusa A monstrous creature There was once a young man called Perseus, whose mother was very beautiful. His father had died when he was a baby, so Perseus and his mother were all alone in the world. king of the land was desperate to marry Perseus's mother. But every time he asked her, she said no. She did not like his angry, mean face. Perseus did his best to protect his mother from the king's anger. So the evil king planned to get rid of Perseus. One day, the king called Perseus to his court. I will leave your mother in peace, he said, but only on one condition. You must bring me the head of the monster Medusa on a plate. Your wish is my command, said Perseus, trying not to tremble, and off he stepped. Medusa and her sisters were scary monsters called Gorgons. Instead of hair, they had snakes sprouting out of their heads. Anyone who looked at Medusa's face was instantly turned to stone. Perseus knew he would need help to defeat her. So he went to see a wise man. I have promised to take the king, the head of Medusa, on a plate. Perseus told him. You are a silly boy, gasped the wise man. But he gave Perseus a shield. It was so shiny that Perseus could see his own reflection in it. When you kill the Gorgon, the wise man said, do not look directly at her. Use this as a mirror. Then he handed Perseus a sword with a crystal blade, strong enough to cut off Medusa's head. Finally, he said, Medusa is a very dangerous monster. You will also need a helmet that will make you invisible. A pair of sandals with wings so that you can fly. And a silver bag to put her head in. Where will I find them? Asked Perseus. Go and see the three witches who live at the bottom of Mount Atlas. They only have one eye between them, so it should not be difficult to creep up on them. Perseus thanked his friend and set off. I hear footsteps said one of the witches as Perseus approached. Her sister took the eye. I can't see anything, she said. Let me have a look, whined the other sister. 
But just as the second witch was handing over the eye, Perseus leaped forward and grabbed it from her hand. No need to snatch! cried the witch, thinking it was one of her sisters. It wasn't me! said the first witch. Then who was it? The three witches cried together. Me! shouted Perseus boldly. And I will only hand it back if you give me what I want. What do you want? They demanded, all three together. Sandals with wings, a magic helmet, and a silver bag. I know you have them, answered Perseus. The witches knew they had no choice. They gave Perseus what he wanted. Now the young hero had everything he needed to kill Medusa. He gave the witches back their eye and headed for the Gorgon's lair in his winged sandals. As he flew through the sky, Perseus felt scared. But he knew he had to be brave and save his mother from the evil king once and for all. He put on the helmet to make himself invisible and flew into the Gorgon's cave. He had never seen such a terrible sight. The snakes on Medusa's head were hissing loudly. Her sisters wailed noisily on either side of her. Perseus drew his crystal sword and dived at Medusa. She heard him coming and looked up. The snakes hissed louder and her sister screamed. How had someone got into their cave without them noticing? Perseus grabbed a handful of Medusa snakes and using his shield as a mirror, he raised his sword. With one blow, Medusa's head flew off her neck. Quickly, Perseus put the head in his silver bag and swooped up into the air. Medusa's sisters chased after him. Though they could not see him, they could follow the smell of Medusa's blood. But they could not keep up with Perseus in his winged sandals. As soon as he was home, Perseus went straight to the evil king. The king was surprised to see him alive. Have you brought me what I want? He asked, smiling to himself. Ha! Of course you haven't. Now I will marry your mother after all. But Perseus suddenly pulled Medusa's head out of the silver bag for the cruel king to see. Do you like it? He asked. Oh. Of course, the king did not reply. He had looked at the face of Medusa and was turned instantly to stone.